previously on Leave to Rome. We travelled by ferry and bus to the hillside town of Ubud, where we wandered the markets, met the local wildlife, ate delicious street food, and explored the famous rice terraces. Bet that one eats a lot of coffee. In this episode, we continue our exploration of Ubud by scooter. We learn the secrets to Luwak coffee, venture into the jungle to find an unspoilt waterfall, discover an epic night market, and soak in the magnificent views of Mount Batur. This stops for me. We are off to Alam Haram, one of the Kopi Luwak centres. Probably meet a civet or two. Hopefully try some coffee. That's right, I'm number one. What number are you, babe? I'm one too. Oh, we can't both be one. Yeah. We're both. And these are the droppings of the animal. Yeah. But we already dry them at least five days to let them cool. Man, you're pro. We are at Alas Haram Kopi Luwak Centre. And one of the cool things they do is this huge complimentary tea and coffee tasting. 14 different flavours. I've also bought a Luwak coffee or Kopi Luwak and I'll be able to compare that to a Balinese coffee, see what I think. This has taken me a long time to practice, so here I go. Mangosteen tea, Rosalie tea, ginseng tea, cinnamon tea, saffron tea, ginger tea and lemon tea, followed by Lemongrass tea, chocolate coffee, vanilla coffee, ginseng coffee, coconut coffee, pandanus tea, and ginger coffee. Whew! Now I'm not a tea or coffee drinker, but there's no tea in these. It's just fruit and sugar. It is delicious. Ooh, ginseng's yum. Kopi Luwak, which we have had a go at making, apart from the civet bit, we didn't do that. And the Balinese coffee I get to compare it with. <laughs> Very nice. So the civet only eats Arabica coffee because the coffee cherry is nicer than the Robusta. And Arabica coffee is a lower level of caffeine, so Kopi Luwak tends to be lower caffeine levels than regular coffee. The Kopi Luwak is hands down better than the Balinese coffee. Tea number five, the saffron tea. So far it's my favourite, but I'm not sure if it's because it's really nice or if it's because there's tons of sugar in it so it's really sweet or if it's because I know saffron's expensive. <laughs> Have you ever felt the hair on your arm stand up just cause she says what's up? Have you ever felt the world is yours today? We are at the Water Temple, which is about 40 minutes north of Ubud. It is packed, but to be honest, we knew it would be because almost every tour you can do in this area comes to this one. It looks like it's pretty special, so we're going to give it a go. Yes, to enter this temple, like a lot of the temples in Bali, you have to wear a sarong. But they have a whole lot of sarongs you can borrow, which makes it a lot easier. We are visiting Turta Impul, one of the most popular temples on Bali. This Balinese Hindu temple is based around a holy water spring, that's what the name translates to, which was discovered in 962 AD when the complex was first developed. It's a very popular pilgrimage for Balinese Hindu people that can cleanse themselves in the holy water. Tourists can do that too, it's all included in your entrance fee of 50,000 rupiah. So it's on the expensive side for Balinese temples, but it is beautiful and really peaceful. To get out, you have to walk through the market. A little while run on the ride from the water temple to we think a waterfall. As soon as you get out of Uber, you get some fantastic food. Although there's good local food in town, but it's these little places that we love. 
We have seen our first sign for the waterfall. <laughs> After about 45 minutes there was a sign, 500 metres from the waterfall. <laughs> Amazing road to get here though, it winds through yeah. all these incredible villages, rice paddies. Yeah. I think we're nearing the waterfall, they stopped us. And we paid for our tickets and got our free parking, so we are walking down now. I hope we can find it. You make me feel like the world is an open road. That my life is the greatest story told. And that the future is nothing but what... This isn't a waterfall. It's pretty wet and pretty slippery to get there. Getting out of here is a bit like an obstacle course. First you've got to pass the other waterfall and then you've got to go up the giant set of stairs. Oh, it's getting late in the day. Waterfall was great. We're off to the night market. We're at the Gianyan Night Market, it's the last stop of our day. We love night markets and this one looks amazing. We've already found our first snack, vegetable fritters. 1,000 a pop and absolutely delicious. A Bali specialty is suckling pig. So I've ordered a suckling pig dish here at the Gianma Night Market and it looks like it comes with some pork crackling, um, some like pork skin, a little bit of uh, chili you should expect some salad and also a soup of some sort it looks so good 30,000 rupiah we have wandered around the market there is plenty of amazing looking food but all I could think of was the pork dish that Elle had previously so after a whole lap around the market we've ended up back at the place where Elle had his dinner and I'm getting on this time that meal was a great way to end our day. For now, we're gonna head back to Ubud and crash. It's been a huge day, but this part of the world is beautiful. Today is a travel day. We are heading down to the coast, but first, we've hired a car for the day with our friends and we're heading north to go check out the volcano. On the way to the market, we've just decided to stop off at the rice terraces because these guys didn't get a chance to have a look yesterday. I can seem to lift my head straight Just lay in the shades with you We don't lose, we take it easy Day by day, oh that's what we do Big swinging, big swinging. Oh, the time uh, lean back. Sorry? Oh, the time lean back. Lean back? Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, be with you. Go! Go! Oh my god, that's so high! <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> 
the giant swing, it's got to be done. Oh, that was amazing. Don't you worry back to my Let's say until morning light. Oh, legs getting a workout. Rice Terrace Exploration, two days running. And we've added in the swing today, and now we're off to check out the volcano. We are in uh, the Kintamani viewpoint area. That's quite interesting because it's clearly just a town, but you've still got to pay to get in. We're going to try and find some awesome views of Mount Batur and the lake. We are looking at Mount Batur. Unfortunately, the very top of it's got some cloud, but it is still a magnificent view. You can see the volcano in the background, and on the right hand side is a huge lake. It is special. So I've just pulled into one of the little warungs that has an amazing view of the volcano and of the lake. I'm having some nila or tilapia from that lake right there. Lake Batur. Lake Batur. Lake Batur. Unfortunately, we ran out of time and didn't get to the waterfall the traffic was really heavy so we've made it to our next destination back in Legion <laughs> that's cute <laughs> probably not very ethical but really cute <laughs> 